Hello. What's up, Capricorn? Welcome to Truth Be Told Tarot. My name is Tessa, your tarot card reader. This is going to be a tarot card reading for Capricorn for the month of June 2020. Readings are timeless, however. So if you see this video six months from now or a year from now, it still may resonate with you. Okay? Time is flu. I do want to apologize in advance if I get a little sniffly or nasally. Um, we are in the spring season and my allergies are going bonkers. So I've been very congested. And there's been a lot of rain here as well. So, you know, that produces mold and all sorts of fungi, what have you. Um, also, um... I'm only doing general readings at this time. I am also only doing spiritual guidance readings. And what that means is inner growth, self-growth, um, whatever spirituality means to you, okay? It means different things to different people. But this is focusing on the self, uh, not focusing on somebody else. Uh, for instance, I don't do love readings or career readings. I just read what's in the cards. So if another person pops up in the cards, that is what I will translate. Um, <clears throat> I am using the tarot deck Influence of the Angels. Okay. Um, I'm also uh, not doing personal readings or extended readings at this time. I might in the future, um, but at this time, no. However, if this does resonate with you, some parts of it might, other parts might not. Um, you might enjoy some of the advice that I give, even if it doesn't resonate with you, or even if you are not a Capricorn and you are watching this video. I do have a donation link down below. So, you know, donations are welcome if you feel so inclined and they are definitely appreciated. Um, I know it's a very hard time for all of us. I hope everyone is finding things to do during this quarantine that is uplifting your soul and making you feel uh, more empowered as an individual as much as the circumstances of the situation might make us feel very much not in power and not in control. So, I hope that this can help you um, along the way on your journey. All right, Capricorn. <clears throat> so, let's get started. What do we have for Capricorn for June 2020? What does Capricorn need to know about themselves a little bit better? Let's take a look. All right. Happy. Oof. <clears throat> okay. So underlying issue, um, you have the Ace of Wands. Okay. Um, the Ace of Wands is fire. Okay. This is the seed that will spark something new, okay? So you wanna start a new project or you want to, you wanna begin a new chapter um, in your life and uh, towards your um, financial stability, towards something creative, towards something that is gonna fulfill you, uh, towards something that's gonna make you feel good 
you know, uh, and inspired. Um, okay, so you want to, um, you want to be that, that kind of guiding force, that kind of initiating force to get something going. All right. Um, as your motivational card, uh, the reason why you are maybe seeking spiritual guidance or seeking this need to maybe know a little bit more about yourself and what your next chapter is going to be, what your next step is going to be, uh, you have the judgment card. So the judgment card um, rules the planet of Pluto. And Pluto is all about transformation. It's about death rebirth, regeneration, kind of like a, a rising of the phoenix. And I do want to note that when we say in astrology, when we mention the sun, the moon, and Pluto as planets, we talk about them as very influential energies that exist within our solar system that very much affect us energetically. Okay, so um, Pluto is still very much a planet in astrology. So Judgment, the Judgment card is a major arcana card, um, and it is represented by Pluto. So you are being guided by this inner need to kind of transform yourself, to almost become like a, you know, a more, you're already, you're already an ambitious kind of person, but you want to take that energy and almost like trans, uh, transmuted into a higher sort of calling or a higher sense of purpose. Um, you don't want to just be ambitious for the money. You don't want to just do things because, you know, you have to do it. It's it's part of the responsibility, you know, being an adult of, of taking action in society to, you know, make money and, you know, gain a sense of social status. But you want to actually feel like your life has a purpose. You want to, you want to find the meaning in what you are doing. Okay. So you want to kind of like transmute this power that you already feel. You already have a sense of power within you, but you want to kind of transfer it into something else. And you want to, um, you know, find that kind of um, inner inspiration and guiding light to do something that's very meaningful and purposeful to you. Okay. Now, in the position of what you're feeling a little disheartened and um, kind of drawn back by, you have the Queen of Cups. Queen of Cups is a Cancer card. Um, and the Queen of Cups is guided by the major arcana, arcana cards of uh, the Chariot and the High Priestess. So, you're a little, you might be in a relationship, okay? Or you might have very loving, affectionate feelings towards somebody. Now, this could be a partner, it could be a lover, but it could also be somebody that you have nurturing feelings towards. It, could be a friend, it could be a relative. Um, generally speaking though, you kind of have these loving, nurturing feelings about this person. Maybe you feel like you need to take care of them. Maybe you feel like you have this, uh, I don't know, like um, almost like a mothering kind of feeling towards this person um, or people, it could be multiple people, and you feel like at this, maybe at this particular moment in time, you can't be all that you can be, and the person that you know you can become and that you are because of the circumstances in our lives right now, and, um, you know, because you do kind of have that providing kind of energy and you are a, a stable person. You provide stability in other people's lives. And at this point in time, maybe you feel a little bit just uh, disheartened because you can't give that to your absolute fullest and your absolute best just because of the circumstances, okay? 
which makes perfect sense because uh, when we lead to the next card, which is outside influences, we have the hermit card, okay? And um, the hermit card talks about isolation. It talks about, um, you know, being with yourself. Uh, and this is also a major arcana card. This is a Virgo card, okay? Um, and Virgo uh, energy is um, in the house where it's guided by service to others, health, um, communication, uh, study. So all the outside forces are, you know, forcing you to be alone and be with yourself. And, you know, you know that you're not the only one who's alone and with themselves, you know, the rest of the world is as well. Um, but it's kind of, um, it, you know, you're, you're feeling it heavier, but you're, you're, I don't, I don't want to say you're feeling it heavier. You're feeling it in a community kind of way. It's like you're, the Hermit card is about isolation. Yes, about being with yourself. But this is an external influence. It's like you're feeling the universal effect of it. I guess, if that makes sense. Because you already know that we're all in isolation and we're all um, in this place in our lives. All right. Um, so you know that it's your duty. It's, it's kind of like you want to take action to begin something new, but you also know that it's in your best interest and it's, it's your duty to, you know, be alone, spend time with yourself, um, be in your, um, I guess in your comfort zone, in your, in your home, um, do some inner work, uh, figure out what your next step is going to be once we, you know, move into a new phase, um, but I know it's kind of like trying to balance it out. It's like trying to balance what you do know is going on with what you don't know with what's going on. I do have to excuse myself for just 30 seconds because my sniffles. Did you guys get a good glimpse of my Mother Mary blanket? My best friend bought me. All right. Um, so... Your advice card, uh, you have the Six of Wands. Uh, the Six of Wands is Sagittarius and Leo. Okay, this is a Leo card, fire sign. Um, with Sagittarius and Leo, um, this is about claiming your victory. It's, it's about, like, knowing that you're a leader and enjoying and embracing the fruits that come with, with your labor, with being who you are. Okay. So, um, you don't necessarily even have to work to gain that kind of status of who you are. Like this, this person that people go to this, um, kind of leader figure and this guiding almost spiritual force, um, you, people come to you, they come to you for, for help, for advice, for, um, a sense of feeling like everything is going to be okay. You know, they, it's like they want you to be their leader. All right. Um, and you're happy to do it. Okay, you're happy to do it. Um, it, I think that knowing that you can be there for others is what gives you a sense of purpose. Um, and they respect you. Uh, they respect you. They appreciate you. With this in the advice card, I, 
I want to say that even with you kind of being this natural born leader that people kind of follow or that, you know, where you guide, um, you, you still might not be, you still might be feeling like you need more approval from others than you think you do. Um, or like, I feel like with the Hermit being in your outside influence and it being a major arcana card, I feel like what the universe is trying to advise you is just to remember that it's okay to be by yourself. It's okay to be alone and it's okay to not, to feel like you have a sense of inner calling and inner purpose without the influence of others or without feeling like you're doing it for others. Maybe that is what you want, but you still need to look deep within you. Okay. And really, really take the time to feel that this is what you want first. And to be like, um, almost like, almost like be this victor, um, be kind of a guiding light for others, but also kind of have this hermit mentality with it. Like have a sort of, oh, you guys can do this on your own too, you know, or, um, you know, you guys can go within yourselves also to find it, what it is you're looking for as well. Because you're doing the work, but are the people around you. So it's kind of like finding this balance between being a leader, but being a leader in a way that will benefit others so they can be better, not just to depend on you, okay? Um, okay. You do find a lot of joy with being around people though, and I think you're missing that a lot during this time of quarantine you're missing you're missing that uh, sense of community um, so the best way to move forward um, from your worries now you drew the lovers card so this either tells me and the lovers card is a Gemini card uh, major arcana so what this tells me is to not get too caught up in your head you know take some time to spend with those you love it doesn't necessarily have to be a lover. It might be. Could be a partner or somebody you're in a relationship with or someone you're, you know. Um, it could be a family member. It could be a cousin. The, the lovers are not always about, you know, sexual chemistry, partnership, relationships. They're not always like that. Lovers are also about kindred spirits. It could be a brother and a sister. It could be cousin. It could be two people who are very, very close you know they almost kind of connect on an emotional level they they connect with this deeper sense of kind of knowing and you just feel good and natural around this person so 
uh, what the universe is telling you to do is, you know, find almost like find the joys with the people that you feel that kind of connection with, that kind of kindred spirit connection with. There might be people who kind of cling to you or maybe you don't necessarily feel that way towards them. Um, and they just kind of look to you for guidance. Um, but, you know, take this time to enjoy and to find the joy in those people that you do feel this kindred spirit with. And if there isn't anybody that you feel that way with, then be with yourself. Be with your inner self and find joy with your inner self. Um, yeah. Move it along. Uh, so the next card is uh, the Queen of Wands. Okay, so this is an Aries card. Uh, fire. And uh, the... The Queen of Wands is ruled by the major arcana cards of the Emperor and the Tower. Queen of Wands is very, very feisty. She's, she almost carries a more masculine energy. She's a go-getter. She's, you know, beautiful. She's smart. She's creative. She's artistic. She's whimsical. She likes to fly off the seat of her pants, you know. She likes to, like, just kind of like inspire others and have fun and very charismatic. Uh, um, also loves to start new beginnings and, you know, go kind of go after what she wants. Very fiery kind of energy. Also very quick though. Um, queens, all queens uh, in the tarot uh, do have the underlying element of water on top of the element of their suit. So it's going to be water with fire, okay? So she's still going to be, you know, she's still going to have that emotional side of her, that sensitive side of her. So, um, you know, overall, the, the universe kind of just wants you to, you know, carry on with this initial sort of spark, this initial sort of idea, maybe um, some, some seeds that you have in your mind that you want to plant, you know, some ideas, uh, that you're going after. And you, you definitely, I think you're definitely feeling it. I feel like you're already kind of feeling this sort of feisty energy you know, where you want to take your ideas and put them into action and you want to spend time with your loved ones and all that. Um, but with the final outcome card being the five of pentacles, uh, which is your elemental sign, this is an earth card, uh, and this is Taurus, okay? So this is Mercury and Taurus. Um, the five, the five of pentacles does talk about some trouble. Um, you know, it could be, it could be financial trouble. It could be material trouble. It could be that some people are left out in the cold. I see this more of a struggle between this energy, okay, and this energy. So I think that you're I think that you're still worried that if you follow this inspirational kind of spark ace of wands if you follow all of these things that the universe is telling you to follow to to be the victor to clean your place you know to enjoy time spent with loved ones or your lover to be that queen of wands going after what she wants and doing the creative things that she wants to do and leading others. I think you're afraid that people are going to get left out in the cold. I think you're afraid that people are going to be like, okay, well, I don't know. Like, what is she doing now? And because you do, you know, you, your social standing is important to you. So the way others view you is important to you. And I think that 
you're still kind of worried that people are going to see you as kind of moving into this new energy, transforming, transcending judgment. And they are, you know, they're going to like look to you like, hey, what about us? Hello. And this is going to be where you're going to need to step up into this kind of energy of, hey, listen, I'm a her <laughs> I am taking care of myself and looking within myself just as you guys should be. Don't stop. Like, you can come to me, but I don't know, like, go, go figure your own stuff out, I guess. Um, and I think that you're kind of afraid that they're going to be left to kind of suffer. And that's why you're, and that's why your motivational your motivation for kind of spiritual guidance is judgment because you could also be very much afraid of judgment. You know, this could be the, the inner, you know, you could very much be afraid of people judging you. Okay. Um, of, of people who are in not such a good place, maybe bringing you down. Even though we know that's not going to happen. No one's going to bring Capricorn down. Okay. Um, so I think you're trying to, I think for your, for your inner work is, uh, you know, facing that initial judgment, face, facing that initial feeling that people are going to judge you based on these actions that you want to take, these new ventures, these new seeds of inspiration that you want to plant and that you want to nurture and that you want to grow and that you want to see what will become of it. And you're, init you're initially kind of like afraid that they will judge you. Okay. So if you can get past that, if you can transcend that feeling that people are going to get, because people are going to get left out in the cold no matter what. Okay. All right. It's going to happen. So Um, once you can get past that feeling within you, that fear, I guess, then you can be a source of light. Okay. But you gotta, I mean, you gotta take care of yourself first. You know, you have to, you have to look out for your own interests as well. Um, It can't just be about everybody else, um, you know, and once you get there, you know, and then once you do get there, once you, because when you start something new, it takes time for it to grow. So then once you get to that point where it starts to grow and then, you know, something becomes of it, then you can reevaluate and you can be like, all right, well, Maybe I'm ready to help you guys now. Okay. So, all right. Uh, so this is what I have for you, Capricorn. I really hope this helps. Um, yeah. I'll see you next. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.